buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, everybody, we've done the scouring to make the best of shooting guards tier list. So we got everything here. Obviously, we have five tiers, like always, demons, baby demons, pretty damn solid, still decent, and the hard pass tier. Everybody's looking good. Uh, we did do the point guards and the best cards tier list already. Those will be both linked down in the description down below. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys disagree with anybody on here. There's always somebody who has a bunch of problems with it. And uh, Hopefully we talk about it. and also hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. So without further ado, let's start off like we always do with a hard pass team. Just have a little bit of fun with it. All right, here we go. We have our man, Sapphire Josh Giddy, the nice Aussie boy out here who's looking fun. He's looking nice, uh, but Jumper's pretty trash, let's be honest. Um, he was an overall, I think, okay Sapphire for the time he came out, but at this point, um, there's a lot better even Sapphires right now. There's a lot better cards in general, especially for the price. Um, no, thank you. Next up is our guy Jerry Stackhouse. Jerry Boy over here is um not not too great. Um, I never really liked him even when he first came out. Just really wasn't my cup of tea. Jump shot one just really isn't my thing. Um, wasn't really playing too good at defense. He's supposed to be a slasher, but I just didn't really have too much fun. But overall, just not really my my guy. Uh, next up is my guy Sapphire Dylan Windler, who is actually uh, he's an alright Sapphire. You know, he got the Clay Thompson base. Uh, but the guy's just out here to shoot. Um, and if that's what you're looking for out of Sapphire, that's cool. Um, I just put a little bit more defense. Um, Manu quickly is up next at the base dribble style as a budget PG. We just, we're not rocking with that. Um, also, yeah, he's a budget PG. We don't really run him at the shooting guard because he, he's got that point guard position. Uh, David Thompson's up next. Supposed to be a good slasher, but just doesn't really feel like it. His speed with ball is all too low. Um, I actually kind of like jump shot nine. I <laughs> think that's what he has. Um, which is weird. I don't know. It's a weird jumper, but I, I, I kind of like it. Um, so, you know, there's that. Maybe you guys do too, hopefully, at least. Um, it just overall wasn't really my cup of tea. Doesn't really play defense. Doesn't really feel fast. It's supposed to be a good slasher, but it's wasn't really messing with it. Um, next up is Darrell Griffith. I just, I didn't like this card. There was a lot of people who had a bunch of fun with this card and were just having a blast with him. Uh, but in my opinion, he was just, I don't know, underwhelming. Like, I just, I don't know. I didn't have a good time with him. That's just... You know, my personal opinion. Um, jump shot 40, I think, is what he has, which is cool. It's supposed to be a good slasher, but it wasn't really like that. And the defense just was meh. Like, he was a free nine, which is cool, but just nah. Uh, and then Bradley Bill is next up. Absolutely no defense. Feels a little bit slow and does have the uh, Ray Allen base, which is pretty nice. Um, gotta love the Ray Allen jumper. Uh, but just all around, I just don't see any sort of points to really run this Bradley Bill anymore. Um, especially with the shooting guard and small forward position. This is. There's better options. Although I will say the shooting guard is kind of looking like the uh, weakest tier right now. Like we had some really good small forwards, power forwards, centers, point guards. Uh, but shooting guards, there's only a few that I highly recommend. Either way, um, let's start it off with the still decent tier where we, uh, I'll just show you guys all these ones again and talk about them. Uh, we have our man Adrian Dantley. I recently went ahead and did his XP challenge because I just hit level 40. Um, and oh my lord, he's got jump shot 18, one of the worst jumpers in the game, if not the worst. It is just so slow, it is so awkward, it has a weird release point, I'm just not messing with it. Um, he's supposed to be a good slasher, which I would say he is at times, but he got blocked way too often for my liking at least. Um, and the defense was, it was alright, it wasn't anything crazy. He's a, he's a good card, but I, he just didn't really jump out to me, it's too crazy. Um, next one is Tyler Hero, which is basically um, Trey Young at can play shooting guard. He's got the Trey Young base on the quick time, which is really nice, it makes him an offensive demon. Uh, but this Tyler Hero is an absolute pup on defense. Like I've been able to absolutely torch um, this Tyler Hero anytime he's on the court. You can switch him on to anybody you want. Um, I'm still going to get buckets on him, and I just, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, same thing goes with this Troy Daniels. Sky is an absolute beast. has a money jumper. I think it's like jump shot 31, something like that. Um, and he's actually really fun, especially for a Sapphire. He's really cool, really good. Um, if we ever have like an all Sapphire weekend, Troy Daniels, he's probably going to be on my squad because the guy's a demon. Um, but doesn't really have defense, just kind of meant to be an offensive guy. And it's cool for that. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea, especially with the power dribble style. If he had like quick, I might have moved him up, but who knows. Uh, next up is our guy Luka Doncic, who just has a really awkward jumper. Um, I don't know why they always do this with Luka. They just, every single year I think we've had a Luka card, they have changed up the jumper that he's had. I, I don't know why, but they just keep doing it. Uh, but either way, now he's got his normal Luka Doncic jumper. It's just not really that good. You can actually get good with it and pretty consistent with it. I know some people who are money with Luka for some reason. Um, and he's a pretty good playmaker and slasher with that. Uh, but doesn't really have defense. And because of his jumper, I just I couldn't put him any higher. Because the jumper, uh, it, it's kind of whack, we'll be honest. 
Uh, next up are Kyle Korver and Kevin Herter. I'll just put these two guys um, in similar boats. Um, both have different jumpers, but they're mainly just guys who are coming out that'll be sharpshooters, shoot amongst the threes for you, but aren't really going to you know do anything else um, other than that. But they're still really good at it. They do have fast jumpers. They are pretty nice. It's just obviously I want a little bit of defense. Uh, same thing goes with Jalen Green. Really good card. They did change up his jumper though. He had jump shot 22. Um, with his sapphire, but I think they changed it to like 95 or something something weird like that um, to his ruby um, He's a really good offensive card. He's got gold behind things like that Which is cool even a halfway decent playmaker as well, uh, but as is becoming a theme no defense <laughs> Same thing goes with my guy Duncan Robinson Dunky. I, I love Duncan Robinson I don't know what it is, but jump shot 40 on quick just feels so muddy um, If you guys played like an early season one you guys know getting this Duncan Robinson in the draft was an absolute beauty and he carried like literally 75 percent of the draft squads that you played this duncan robinson was scoring most of the points that's just how it works he's got the shifty dribble style um he was an absolute god at getting to the basket he can even shoot just so good um just has no defense like at all it's like a 66 perimeter or something like that oh uh, just got it tough but he is so 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 fun uh next up is our guy the more the rosen who has the trade break base and all that wonderful stuff, but just doesn't have great defense. It has like a 60-something shot three or 70-something shot three. It's, just, it's, it's not good. Um, especially for a guy that's playing your shooting guard, you just want that three to be a little bit higher. I love DeMar DeRozan cards, but I'm hoping we get a pink diamond with at least like a 75 to an 80 shot three, um, and he'll be absolutely insane. It's just this one wasn't the greatest. Um, and last but not least is our guy, Del Curry. Another one of those, I'm going to, you know, just absolutely chuck up threes and do really nothing else of standard. Um, has jump shot 28, which is nice. Um, okay, slasher. I'm just not really, like, the biggest fan of Del Curry. So, you know, he's cool, but um, nothing too crazy, at least to me. There's a lot of good shooters, so I feel like if you can only shoot and not really play defense, um, I'm just not really that interested in you, at least a little bit. Uh, we can start off the pretty damn solid tier with our guy Amethyst Gary Harris. Obviously, as the Amethyst, nobody runs the, the Ruby Gary Harris. And if you do, just Evo the card. It's so easy. It takes like three games, maybe, of triple threat. Like two, three games, uh, triple threat. Like just Evo them up. Anyway, the Amethyst, uh, really nice jumper. Pretty easy, pretty consistent at the time. And when you get this Evo up, he's got really good defense. On top of that, has some pretty solid slashing. Um, I think it has a eh, dribble style. I think it's like slash or something like that. So it's not great. Uh, but let me tell you, if you can get it going, you can get cooking with this Gary Harris. He will feel like one of the best amethysts and one of the best just overall budget cards in the entire game. Um, super fun, super nice, all around, just a damn solid card. Uh, next up is our man Terry Rozier, who I think has the uh, Charles Oakley jumper, which is a bit unfortunate. Like, quite unfortunate. Or no, 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 no. I'm thinking of Dennis Schroeder. Um, Never mind. Anyway, Terry Rozier uh, was a free like token mark card that we got, and this guy can oh he's got jump shot 107, which is a money jumper, um, which is why he's actually up here and pretty damn solid. Uh, you're gonna have really good playmaking, really good shooting, really good finishing, or pretty good finishing, no dunking out of him, uh, which is pretty nice. Just again another case of really having no defense, but I put him up here because he does have the ability to play the point guard position, and he's really good as a PG. Um, he just want to get buckets. Plus he's a free card, so you know go him. Uh, next up is an OJ Mayo clone in Ruby. I said OJ. <laughs> I said OJ Mayo clone is a JR Smith clone in Ruby OJ Mayo uh, because he has jump shot 49 on the quick timing. Sadly, he has the base dribble style, so not as cheesy as you want him to be, but jump shot 49 is so quick, so money, so easy to time, and he's still a pretty good slasher, too. So, I just all around, I love this OJ Mayo. Plus, you can have like, clamps if you want to do him, which is pretty nice. Um, all around, just a good card, man. He's like a really good card. Uh, next up is our man Latrell Sprewell. He's got jump shot for it, which is money, and my guy's got some good defense as well uh, to go on top of that. Just all around, a pretty good card. Um, I haven't seen like anybody ever run him probably because I mean he's like a triple threat guard at like 500 wins and people just don't be playing triple threat like that uh, but he's still one of my favorite cards to just use mess around with um, you know just because he got jump shot for it I'm assuming at least he's gonna be one of my favorite cards to just mess around with and triple threat offline and stuff like that I just won't feel like using him on unlimited is really anything like that uh, so I think he's a good offline card I think online he can get puffed a little bit because he's got again like a bad dribble style so well, you, know, you have to see uh, next up is my man Jordan Poole has the Kent Bazemore jumper on quick and that is so 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 money I don't know what it is about Jordan Poole but my guy just he got it like that uh, he's got like I think the quick dribble style and things like that which is really nice he's just an offensive demon I love the jumper no defense really because um, you can't add clamps to him you can hide him as like a two guard or something like that he's still all around super super fun super super nice he's just not playing any defense uh, next up is my man Jordan Clarkson. We're just keeping a trend on a no defense, all offense. Um, Jordan Clarkson has some of the best just dribbling animations in the game. He's so funny, so shifty. Jump shot 107 is just insane. And he really can just do whatever the hell he wants. Um, I think Terry Rozier is just like a slightly upgraded version of Clarkson. But these guys, these are just two of the most fun cards you can use in the game because they can just get buckets on really 
anybody, which is so fun. Just the, the problem with them is they aren't stopping anybody else from getting buckets. Uh, next up is our guy Hell Greer, cursed by, I think the base by the base dribble style. I'm pretty sure, but has jump shot 22 and is absolutely money. Just a really fun card to use, if I'm being honest. I uh, did some of his XP and like shuffled that offline. He was just a nice card, a fun card, like somebody that could. Just go out there, get some puckers with, have some fun. And he still has pretty capable defense. He just doesn't really jump out to me as, like, anything too crazy when I'm actually, like, you know, using the card. Uh, next up is our man Diamond Dwayne Wade. Somebody was really upset that I didn't include Diamond D. Wade in, like, the best cards tier list. And that's because I don't really view him as one of the best cards in the game, um, if I'm being honest. But Dwayne Wade is solid. I mean, he's got the D. Wade jumper. It's on the normal timing. And to me, it feels really slow. Uh, but I will say this Diamond Dwayne Wade is one of the better defensive shooting guards I've used, uh, which is really nice, and he's a pretty good slasher. I just don't really feel like he can shoot it too well. He can kind of, you know, bait the jumper a little bit, uh, which, in my opinion, just isn't really worth it for a guy that I'm going to be running as my two guard. Yeah, that's just, that's just me. Uh, next up is my guy Devin Booker, who has one of the best jumpers in the game. Jump shot four on quick. Oh, my Lord. It is so, so, so fun. Like, this Devin Booker, um, you call any sort of floppy or, like, three-point money play, and boom, he's shooting it, and it's going in, period. Um, Booker, no defense. No defense at all. Uh, has some decent slashing, but the reason I love this Booker is you can three-point hunt like a menace uh, with this guy. Um, and it's just, it's just a, it's a grand time. This guy actually carried me in domination, running some three-point money plays and stuff like that. I came around screens, lit him up with that super quick sh shot, um, and it was just a all-around grand time um, running through like that NBA 75 domination, real fun. Uh, next up is our guy Desmond Mason, another J.R. Smith clone, just with slightly worse shooting. Um, just imagine OJ Mayo with more finishing and a little bit less shooting, and boom, you got Desmond Mason right there. Uh, next up is our guy Corey McGetty, another one of those free cards. It's like one of those ones you play like a challenge game, and then like boom, here you go, here's an OJ Mayo. Um, or not with Jameo, Corey Maggetti. I haven't got a single one of these guys. Um, I just don't think he's too crazy. He's like all right on defense, pretty good shooter, pretty good slasher, all right playmaker for a shooting guard, small forward. Um, all around, I think he's a good card. I just don't really care for him, if I'm being honest. Uh, and last but not least, in it to our pretty damn solid tier is Sapphire Chris Duarte. Uh, he was a locker code card that we got last season, which is pretty cool. Um, 2K, please do some more of these. But the cool thing about Chris Duarte is he's got a pretty nice jumper, pretty consistent with it. And he's got really good defense on top of that, uh, which I like to see. Like, just an all-around good 3 and D option for a free Sapphire card, especially for budget people. I think this Chris Duarte is pretty, pretty fire. Um, just only really comes in, like, handy when it's, like, a limited weekend or something like that. Uh, starting off the baby demon tier, we have our man Diamond Ron Boone. I have finally moved him out of the demon tier. Um, and it's just because recently Ron Boone just hasn't been hitting the same. Like, he's been good, he's been fun, but I don't know. He just hasn't been absolutely killing it for him. He's got some good defense, you know, gold clamps and that. He's got the Paul George jumper, which is nice. The quick dribble style, he can cheese it up. He's just, he's a fun card. Uh, it's just recently he hasn't been feeling as good as some of the other PGs I've had out there. So I, I'm throwing him into the baby demon. It, it's sad to see because he is one of my favorite point guards that I've had, like, the pleasure of using. But. You know, it is what it is. Uh, next up is our man, Rip Hamilton, the Sapphire. I think he's got, like, the power dribble style or something like that and has jump shot 40, which is pretty cool. Um, it is only on the normal timing. But uh, I guess the reason I like Rip Hamilton is because when it's a when he's a cone, I think he's one of the best cones out there. You know, you just run him as a guy who shoots threes and plays defense. And he's really good at that. I mean, it's a bit of slashing. Uh, I just think that he is not worth it at all for the guys you're locking in. Like, you have to lock in, uh, who is it, Kevin Durant and... Uh, Dolph Shays, there we go, uh, in order to get this Rip Hamilton, it's just not worth the amount of MT that you're locking in for him, but he still is a pretty decent card. Uh, next up is Mitch Richmond, jump shot 22, the quick dribble style, and just a pure bucket getter. Like, um, I wouldn't say this Mitch Richmond is like one of the best cards in the game, uh, but at this point, you can just get everything on him down and just play it so well, so consistently with him, um, that you gotta love it. it guaranteed, like, 15 points a game with this Mitch Richmond. He's just an absolute god. Especially in limited. Uh, run a little bit of this and that. Um, you can have some fun. Next up is our man Pink Diamond Michael Jordan. Uh, one of those cards you really have to add a bash to to get the full effectiveness out of him. Um, you have to have a quick first step and I think he's going to be pretty nice. Uh, but as a Michael Jordan card is, really good slasher, really good defender, and still has a bit of a jump shot. I do really like the Michael Jordan jump shot this year. Um, just me personally. I don't know. I, I think it's money. Uh, but yeah, once you add that to your uh, Michael Jordan, a uh, quick first step, I think it'll be perfectly fine. can do really whatever he wants after that. Uh, just again, without it, it feels a little tough. I'm not going to lie. Uh, next up is our man Diamond Lou Dort, one of the best defensive cards that I've used this year. Then has Jump Shot 107, such a beautiful green window. Um, it just does whatever the hell he wants. I will say that Lou Dort is a pretty decent slasher, but because he is like 6'3 at the two guard, it can be a little bit tough. Uh, but on the defensive end, he just clamps everything up, and it is a sight to see. 
Uh, next up is a card that I was not high on, and then I went against somebody who absolutely torched me with him, and that's Kelly Oubre Jr. Got the same jumper as Sean Marion, and this guy just went out there and got buckets. Um, I think you can actually give him, like, clamps, something like that, and it becomes a uh, pretty damn good card. Um, I just don't, I don't know, I personally don't care for him when I'm actually using him myself, but I saw somebody absolutely unlock the power of Kelly Oubre, and he torched me with him, uh, so I had to put him up in Baby Demon. Uh, next up is my, my my man Eddie Jones, and anybody that has the, um, what is it, Hall of Fame Interceptor can go in Baby Demon immediately. I, I don't care who it is, Hall of Fame Interceptor seriously is becoming one of my favorite badges in the game. Like, oh my lord. Um, and then you mix that with the fact that he has, I think, Jump Shot 31 on the normal timing, really nice, really consistent, really easy to time jumper, and just all around good defense. Eddie Jones is one of those guys who is a great 3 and D option out there, slash a dribble style, and can slash a little bit, uh, but again, we, we're using Eddie Jones because the guy can shoot and the guy's got all of him intercept. I mean, come on. Uh, next up is my man Drazen Petrovic, who is arguably like one of the best, if not the best shooter. He like he is arguably the best shooter in my team right now. Dude is the first card that we've got with Hall of Fame Limitless spot up on him, and then he has Sniper and I think Catch and Shoot as well as uh, one other batch. I don't forget what it is. Uh, but this Drazen Petrovic, you if you get the ball and you even have an inch of space, boom, is green and you're going the other way. It is absolutely insane. Plus, he's got gold clamps and it's pretty fun there. Base trouble style kind of limits him, uh, but when you can shoot as good as he can, you'll be fine. Uh, next up is my man Donovan Mitchell again jump shot for quick dribble style and it just gets shifty out there It might be shifty dribble style something like that, but Either way uh, Donovan Mitchell despite being six foot one is still one of the better shooting guards in my opinion You can find so many of them fully badged up on the auction house and the guy just has defense He has a really good really consistent jumper great dribbling animations good playmaking and he can slash too um, It's just that he's six foot one, but his six ten wingspan does help with that at least a little bit uh, next up is our man Clyde Drexler has the base dribble style, which is super tough, uh, but does have jump shot 5, a jumper that I like, although it's a little slow. Got some good defense, and this Clyde Drexler is an amazing slasher, just gets to the basket, um, and if he does get below the basket, you can basically just give him the dunk right then and there. I mean, it's going to happen. He's making it. Uh, but all around, just a really good card. Again, you're using Clyde Drexler because he is an amazing slasher uh, that has a little bit of defense mixed in with it. Uh, and actually finishes off our baby demons here, so we can hop into the demons, where we started off with Marcus Smart. This is one of my hot takes of this tier list, and I will argue this until my face turns purple. This Marcus Smart is one of the best cards that we've ever got at the Ruby tier. I use him as my starting PG, which is why I have him up in Demons, is at the point guard position. This guy is seriously a top PG in the game. I don't care what you say. I've locked up you know, guards like Steph Curry with him stupid consistently. He has a money jumper, a great dribble style with some really good dribble sigs, but the defense is just insane. Like, there seriously isn't anything that this Marcus Smart can't do. Like, he actually is one of my favorite cards in the game. He's just super fun, super nice, um, and just one that I, I want to have on the squad all the time. He's actually my starting PG over Gary Payton right now, which is kind of crazy. Um, anyway, next up is our man Kobe Bryant, obviously. Kobe Bryant jumper has the quick dribble style and just all around great. Even has a little bit of defense out there, too. Um, just all around nice. At one point, people were calling this Diamond Kobe one of the best cards of the game. Uh, the best guard in the game. He does have uh, a really cheap price now, like 60-ish K, uh, which ain't too bad uh, for a Kobe card, especially. But all around, just really nice, really fun. Uh, I want to say he's like top, 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 top tier in the game, but he still is one of the best shooting guards, especially when it comes to just all around um, ability. Uh, next up is the best shooting guard in the game in Diamond, Clay Thompson. I will argue this until, again, my face is purple, that Clay Thompson is the best shooting guard in the game. Period. Period, period, period. You can uh, disagree with the fact that his jump, like you don't love his jumper because it has a bit of a load up. But the mix of insane defense, really solid slashing, amazing playmaking, really good defense makes the Clay Thompson the best card in the game. Um, my whole strategy with it is run Marcus Smart. It's like a defender that just comes out there and does his thing. While I have Clay run most of my offense, and it has worked perfectly because this guy gets buckets. Um, the amount of people that rage quit because Clay gets 20 in the first quarter is crazy. This card seriously is like the best bucket getter in the game. It still has insane defense. I love this card. Uh, next up is the man, Jalen Brown, who I'm pretty sure has like Hall of Fame Interceptor, and if he doesn't, it feels like he does. Um, jump shot 75 on the normal timing is obviously a little bit less than ideal, but this Jalen Brown just has some of the best, most frustrating defense to go against, especially when somebody knows how to time um, their steals and things like that. But on top of that is an amazing slasher as well. Like, seriously, it's just crazy. And you can get a lot of them fully badged out on the auction house for decently the same price as what he normally goes for. It's only like, you know, a 5 thousand like extra that you're paying for it uh which is absolutely crazy like go out and check the auction house right now because a lot of jalen browns you know clay thompson uh even some smarts fully badged up for not even that expensive so i'll check it out have some fun with it these guys are crazy 
Um, and then next up are the two James Hardens, the Glitched and the Diamond. Uh, the Diamond is better than the Glitched. They both have the, uh, like, literally identical defensive stats. Um, the Diamond just has slightly worse on-ball steal tendency. Um, but the great thing about the Diamond is that he has, like, Hall of Fame Deadeye and really good shooting badges like that. Um, which you just love to see. The James Harden jumper is money. He's got a good dribble style and some good dribbling animations. The hop step, kind of cheesy. You know what you're doing. Uh, but all around, this James Harden can just get buckets, still play good defense, and still play make. Um, kind of has a similar role to Klay Thompson, where he can kind of play that like secondary ball handler, or primary ball handler if you wanted to, while being a shooting guard and still you know score well, still play defense well, um, which is really, really nice. All around, I did love me some James Harden. But if you do have the opportunity, I would use the Diamond James Harden. Although you won't notice too much difference between the two, just know that the diamond is a little bit better um, than the glitch. But it's it's not that big of a difference. It's not as big of a difference as some people make it out to be. But either way, this is our top shooting guards list. You guys can see it's it's a little um it's a little light. Like we have a lot or not I wouldn't say a lot. We have a good bit of you know solid point guards out here, uh, which is pretty nice. I think if I'm looking at it on 2K DB right now, we have 254 point guards. Um, we have 292 shooting guards, most of them just really aren't too hot. Uh, but then we have 266 on small forwards, and then we have 268 on power forwards. I think it is 529 people um, that could play like center, not 529, 261, never mind. Uh, but the just amount of really high quality, you know, point guards, small forwards, power forwards, and centers are really good. But I just feel like we don't really have many top, top, top tier uh, shooting guards out right now which is kind of tough so 2k hopefully in season three we see some better guards uh whip out but either way um this is my tier list let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below with the like button if you guys did enjoy let me know who you want to move up what you want to move down and everything else in between hit the subscribe button if you're new and check out the mt sponsor link in the description down below hit the like button if you guys did enjoy thank i already said that but anyway i'll see y'all in the next one